the toll of racism and discrimination, genocide and ethnic uh, cleansing has risen enormously and unforgivably across the world. The searing injustice of racial in, uh, prejudice and other forms of bigotry humiliate and endanger millions of people. Intolerance is deliberately fueled by opinion leaders to boost their personal ambitions. Migrants are becoming the scapegoats of almost every society. Uh, children are growing up feeling they must be less worthy than their peers, since all of society appears to view them as less deserving of rights. And yet we know it is possible to put an end to this shocking and pervasive injustice. In seeking to renew this fundamental struggle, Mandela's own life is an extraordinary source of inspiration. We need to keep pushing forward, uh, making new arguments, uh, forging new partnerships, holding states to their commitments, and standing up for what is right. But I'm also concerned at the general coarsening of language online and the extent to which internet users, often hiding behind the cowardly cloak of anonymity, flaunt their vile views and insult anyone who dares to oppose or disagree with them. To resist these racist, misogynist, nationalists and extremists, we must assert the values of Nelson Mandela as loudly and firmly as we can in all fora, both on and offline. Honoring the legacy of Nelson Mandela is particularly fitting at this time, not only because we celebrate the centenary of his birth this year, but also because it is time for us to reclaim and live out a message of inclusion, tolerance, respect of, for the diversity, and faith in our common humanity.